Sedgman. Sedgman goes to the net. Now 24-year-old Frank Sedgman shows his championship ability. Sedgman's game for 3-1. He was a gentleman champion during a tennis era that should never be forgotten. It was post-war and Australia was trying to prove itself on the sporting stage. Playing the game of his life, Frank Sedgman with a tennis racket has done more for Australia today than any publicity money can buy. They were bold young athletes. At the head of the pack was the mighty Frank Sedgman. So, how are you feeling 70 years on from those <laughs> wonderful feats? Oh, well, you go through your life and you, you know, you think that, you know, you've had a good life. It's like sitting here now, I think, oh, you know, I couldn't have had a better life. What do you remember of your partnership with Ken McGregor? You won all of the doubles tournaments in 51. Yeah. You won three out of four in 52. McGregor and Sedman, Wimbledon, French, United States and Australian champion. You know, nobody else has done it before. And I don't know whether they ever will, because you know, so much money in singles. You become a doubles specialist or a singles specialist. So I think we'll, that record will stand forever. <laughs> and the big thing about it was that we went to America in the Davis Cup team in 47, 48, 49, and you couldn't beat the Yanks on their own home turf there, you know. Anyway, we uh, were able to win the Davis Cup back from America to bring it back to Australia, and that's when we had a really good run. When I look at the old footage of those Davis Cup finals, what's remarkable is the size of the crowds. It w really was one of the biggest sporting events Australia had seen, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I built special stands at Kuyong and White City in Sydney, but everybody just watched the tennis in, the, in those days. Uh, wasn't much on TV, I suppose, but... <laughs> Sedgman won five Grand Slam singles titles, but it's likely he would have won more if he didn't turn professional, because during the 1950s and 60s, pros were not allowed to compete in amateur tournaments. It was a very difficult decision for you to turn professional then, wasn't it? because yeah, that yeah. meant that you couldn't play Davis Cup, but of course you had to earn a buck. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <clears throat> well, see, I really only played five years in the amateur game. And, you know, I won all the, all the titles that I won was in those five years. So, uh, Kramer, after I won Wimbledon in 52, he says, oh, you've got to turn pro. And I played him a 100-match tour around the States. And that's where I got a, sta a start in life, really. Sedgman became world number one in the professional ranks while competing in the American Jack Kramer's groundbreaking tournaments. You know, you get a crowd of, say, 10, 15,000, you know, coming to watch you every night, well, three nights a week. So we, uh, I took Gene around the world about 40 times <laughs> yeah. in that period. But, uh, you know, it was just that, uh, uh, it's a good way of making, you know, money. And this is where we are now, where you win a win straight open, you get four million dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you almost get a hundred thousand for uh, losing in the first round. <laughs> Do you enjoy watching tennis these days? Yeah, oh yeah. No. It's good to see the changes that they're making, you know, with their games, you know, curious is amazing. He can do this little shovel shot with his double-handed backhand and do it at an angle, you know. And, yeah. and he wins a lot of points with it, but we'd never think of doing that when we were playing. Oh, well, it's very nice of them to look after us, you know, and to think that, you know, we're still hanging around at <laughs> my age and uh, they're very kind to us. They really look after us very well. Mm. As it should be for a man of the game who's been on the court or court side of major tennis for the past nine decades. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.